Hello, I'm attorney Matt Parker with the elder law firm of Marshall Parker & Weber. Do you need a power of attorney? Well, powers of attorney are documents that name somebody to make decisions for you in the event you're unable to do so. There are typically two kinds of powers of attorney. One is a health care power of attorney that's used to make medical decisions for you when you are incapacitated. The second is a financial power of attorney that's used to manage all of your finances from your home to the money and investments. Now, the reality is that a health care crisis can happen to anyone. Accidents occur all the time. Medical emergencies just don't happen to the elderly. They happen to all of us. So powers of attorney are very practical documents. In fact, the need for a health care power of attorney tends to depend on your relationship to the person making decisions for you. If you're married, your spouse can typically make medical decisions for you even without a power of attorney. But in the case of adult children, you're not going to be able to make decisions about your adult child's medical care, nor can children make medical decisions for their parents. When it comes to financial powers of attorney, it's very practical to have these documents if you have some amount of savings, perhaps a home or other resources. Your spouse, in fact, is limited in what he or she can do for you without a power of attorney. They can't sell your home, they can't sell your car, they can't usually access your retirement accounts. So to answer the question, yes, it is very practical and advisable to have a power of attorney not only to make health care decisions, but also financial decisions. So if you'd like to learn more about powers of attorney, don't hesitate to visit our website at paelderlaw.com.